There was much conversation about exactly this question, which is, you know, are we teaching the right things um, inside our organizations? And a lot of talk about death by PowerPoint and the same thing of being talked at. And um, because the, the interesting statistic is from coming from a many places that as high as one in two people in the workforce feel disengaged, disconnected, um, and, 20, and, and as high as 70% of the workforce. So that's really, you know, when you think about the loss of productivity, something like $350 billion are lost of unhappy people in the workplace. And we're also talking um, about retention because how, there's a lot of conversation about how do we retain some of the younger people and are we training the right things. Um, and it really came down to a lot of conversation about what are we doing right, what are we doing wrong. But one of the things was um, that was the overarching theme was that people, we need to, you know, the, we need to love our people. And companies who are doing it, like Southwest Airlines, where they, you know, I just came from them yesterday, they, that's what they're about. They're about we love our people, and if our people feel loved, then the customers feel loved. And they did a, a study recently in their organization and found that 92% of Southwest Airlines employees feel engaged. 97% of their employees said they would go the extra mile for their company. 97% said they feel their job is actually related to the bottom line of the organization. <laughs> um, so, you know, what's going on in companies where people feel valued and feel supported and feel appreciated? And so that, that was an interesting conversation. There's companies like DuPont that they call their leadership initiative felt leadership. So it's an interesting movement about how do we um, train our people to love their people and value their people. And um, the, the other thing that came back is tremendous amount of feedback to people. You know, um, <coughs> there was a study done that Procter & Gamble did with some of their leadership people who had gotten to higher levels. And the feedback, what was the number one leadership development quality that you would say was responsible for your success? And it came back that feedback honest feedback about mm -hmm. what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong. Um, and because often we don't get the feedback that's necessary for our growth.